Good morning, day seven of hiking the Appalachian Trail in 100 days. And uh, I've been hiking just under two hours this morning. Uh, just had a stream crossing little ways back that I had to ford. And then right after that, there were some other ones that I should have been able to get across. I had already put my boots back on, but I, I don't know, I messed up. And so I slipped in with both my boots, got them wet, so that sucks. I mean, it's not like my boots were perfectly dry, but I think they were a little bit drier than yesterday morning, this morning. And my socks were definitely drier, even though they weren't dry either, so. Uh, it's frustrating. I guess I'm just too rushed and not thinking enough, maybe. I don't know. Um, but I've had pretty much wet boots and socks for the last, like, three or four days. So hopefully I can get them dried out soon. Uh, maybe make a fire tonight and try to dry them some that way because they really don't seem to dry all that much overnight just like sitting out and even when they're under the shelter and hanging the socks up stuff like that they really don't dry all that much so um, that's the frustration I'm having right now is my feet and socks and boots but got about 22 miles today so less than 20 left and um, two mountains I think Moxie Bald and then Pleasant Pond Mountain. But the first few miles today should be pretty simple, so just gonna keep moving along and then we'll see how it goes once we get to those mountains. Up here at the top of Moxie Bald Mountain, 2,630 feet. And uh, some pretty cool views looking out to the west there. Um, and headed south where we're going up down there. So it's about 11 o'clock so I'm probably gonna hang out here and enjoy the sun and breeze and have a little snack here I think. Looks like there used to be uh, some type of tower here. There's a uh, remnants of like four posts it looks like. That's interesting. About a half mile left to camp, which is Pleasant Pond lean-to for the night. Um, working my way down Pleasant Pond Mountain. Uh, I didn't take any videos up there because I was talking to my mother on the phone, which was good, but I did take a picture of the sign about 2,400 feet, um, so got another, like I said, a little bit less than a half mile to go to the lean-to for the night. Made it into camp and got a little fire going to try to dry out my boots and socks, and I uh, got some other of my clothes hung up, some of my stuff's kind of strewn around here. Uh, cooking up some dinner. No one else seems to be here, so uh, probably just have it to myself and um, I'll just sleep in the shelter. I'm the only one at this campsite, so just decided to put my sleeping bag out in the shelter and sleep here for the night, not mess with the tent at all. Uh, today was a good day. Um, made our 22 miles. Unfortunately, tomorrow is going to be a really big day. Um, it would be doable and not as bad on a normal day, but um, I have the Kennebec River Ferry Crossing at about six miles from here. Um, and they don't open until 9 a.m. So, um, you know, if I had a big day, typically I would, you know, try to start hiking around 4.30 or 5. And then I would probably be at that crossing by like 8 o'clock at the latest. Well... Basically, if I did that, I would just be wasting an hour waiting there for the uh, ferry guy. So I think I'm still going to try to get started by 5 or 5.30 and 
get there early. And if he's there, maybe he can take me across a little early. If he's not, well, I can just sit there and eat so I don't have to eat as much later and make sure I'm prepared on water and stuff like that. Um, rather be there a little bit early and ready to jump on the gun when he arrives because after that I still have 21 miles ish I think um, and I don't think the train is super bad um, but we shall see and I looked at you know doing a little bit less tomorrow maybe and then making it up the next day or two but uh, the next day or two are probably going to be fairly hard days or at least not have much room for adding on so you know at some point I'm going to have to do a hard day I think and I mean, I've had hard days, but I think, you know, just based on how I set my schedule up, I'm just going to have to tough this one out. But since I was able to dry out my boots and socks, hopefully they're, they're pretty much dry. And uh, hopefully I'll have a better time tomorrow with them. And I'm not sure, but hopefully we don't have too many river crossings that I have to ford because that slows me down for sure.